Hello everyone, it's time to pray. Today's celebrity prayer is for Kim Kardashian. Her wedding was viewed by millions and her divorce was discussed by even millions more. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your love, your grace, your mercy, your blessings. We thank you for your love for us. Thank you for sending your son to die on the cross for our sins. Heavenly Father, you said that before we were born, you knew us. You said that you have a plan to prosper us, to bring us to a certain end. Heavenly Father, this, of course, is still your word for each and every one of us, and it includes Kim Kardashian. Father, if you ask the world, they will say Kim Kardashian is a beautiful woman who is famous for uh, hanging with rich, famous individuals, who is famous for a sex tape, who is famous for just going to parties, events, for products, for fashion, and now famous for a a beautiful, they would say, fairy tale wedding, and then a tabloid divorce. Some might say she's real, many might say she is fake, but the majority simply just like to hear about her. News is news. Heavenly Father, you have a plan for the lives for each and every one of us. Your word says, what is it worth to gain the whole world and lose our own soul? Father, your word said that you, your son, Jesus Christ, went to prepare a place for us. And that he would be coming back to receive us to himself. Father, these are references of scripture, but for many people this means nothing. For Kim Kardashian, I have no idea where her standing with you is, whether she believes in you, if she doesn't believe in you. But Father, you love her. You have a place prepared for her. You have a mansion you are preparing for her. You have a love for her that is unmatched by anyone, that no human being could match. If she found the perfect man for herself, she would still not find anything close in any respect to the love that you have for her, the love that Jesus Christ had for the die on the cross. But Father, people want love that's not words. People want love in their hearts, Father. So I'm praying, interceding on her behalf that he would reach her in our heart. I know even before I prayed, even before I was born, that you've been reaching out to her. That you always cared for her. Father, you ask us to intercede on behalf of others. Father, so I'm praying for her, and I pray that others pray for her as well. That she has a closer walk with you. That she accepts you as her personal savior. Father, there is seeming benefits to fame, to wealth, uh, the world watching you that they would sit at the television sets by the millions to watch your wedding and it's not a one day event but it's a two day event or multiple days uh, that your divorce is also talked about when there is high rates of marriage or sudden marriages and there are high rates of divorce it's amazing that one individual would take center stage. Uh, it's amazing that people are willing to pay millions to sponsor or to have someone sponsor their product. But at the end of the day, the money is just paper. The money, even if it, its value is there, it's going to wear away. It is going to disappear. And at one day we're going to die regardless at some point the benefits of this world will mean nothing when we face the real issues in life when we really are faced with loneliness when we're by ourselves and we're looking at our lives we ask am I happy many will say no they will have wealth they will have fame they might have 
the best looks or the best looking people with them might be going to best events but they're not happy the pursuit of the world does not bring happiness it brings more sadness it brings just more chase for happiness but it doesn't achieve it Heavenly Father true happiness is promised to her free but of course she must believe it Father we pray that that you send your Holy Spirit to her to assure your love to send true believers to reflect your light to allow her to see the truth from amongst the world full of its darkness from amongst a world full of people snapping pictures and wanting interviews and wondering what her thoughts on something might be or just, just wanting to follow her send the people that just demeaning these individuals they stand out that they're not just another individual who calls themselves a Christian or a believer in God, but that there is something distinct, something different, unique about them. Let her see what it means when a person truly has a godly character. Many individuals will never be able to accept your truth because they've never seen it, because people who are supposed to reflect your light, such as us professed Christians, we don't do it. We hold it to ourselves we try to keep it in the church we try to keep it amongst the family but we're supposed to show your love your character to the world so father i pray that you send people to her but also provide the best source of information about you to her your bible send her to your word send the holy spirit to guide her into the reading of the word to get a full understanding of you to understand first corinthians 13 what love is to understand also the Bible says that God is love that John 3 16 you sent your son to die on the cross because he truly loves her uh, that there is a groom that was willing to lay his life down for his bride was willing to go to any odds for her that loves her with an unmatched love and not because she's attractive, because she's famous, because she's young, but simply because he created her, simply because of who she is, simply because she's Kim, and not because she's the Kardashian brand, the famous person, the rich individual, but simply because she's his creation his bride he was willing to do all of this you were willing to send your son for her father help her to see the true love that you have for her remove the negative people if it's possible to get her away from the limelight that she can take time to stop and really look at her life and see herself for who she really is and to see her in need of you please bring her to have a realization that she needs a savior that we all need a savior but that the savior already came and died and just wants to give salvation to her to all of us freely father we pray that the holy spirit convicts her and brings her to a true loving relationship with you this we pray in jesus name amen